Okay, in this problem, we're given the integral of dx over the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 145. What we're going to do to start this problem is we're going to complete the square on this. So we're going to say our function, f of x, is equal to the quadratic that's there, not the square root, just the quadratic, x squared plus 2x plus 145. Okay, and we want to put it of the form uh, x minus h squared plus k. So we need to figure out h and k, which is the vertex. Okay, so the quick way of finding the vertex is negative b over 2a, and f of k is equal to f of negative b over 2a. Okay, where does the a and b come from? Well, that comes from standard form of a quadratic, which ax squared plus bx plus c. So a is equal to 1, b is equal to 2. Okay, so h is equal to negative 2 over 2 times 1, which is negative 1. And k is equal to f of negative 1. So we plug in this value into the function. So negative 1 squared plus 2 times negative 1 uh, plus 145. Okay, and that gives us 144. So we can now rewrite the problem. dx over the square root of, let's put it in the vertex form, so we have the h and the k, so it would be x, now would it be minus or plus? Well the formula says minus and our answer for h is minus, so it's plus, plus 144, that's our k, okay? Now the next thing we want to do is do a quick u substitution. We're going to say u is equal to x plus 1, and we're going to do this because we're eventually going to do a trig substitution on this problem. Okay, so if u is equal to x plus 1, then du is equal to dx. Okay, so we can just do a straight substitution, put du there, and then we have the square root of u squared plus 144. 144, of course, is 12 squared. Okay. Um, so we're going to do another substitution now, a trig substitution using tangent. We're going to say u is equal to 12 tangent. The 12 came from, because the 144 is uh, 12 squared. And this, may, you may recognize this as a, as a tangent problem. Um, a squared plus, or x squared plus a squared. Okay, so that's our u substitution, which means our du is equal to 12 secant squared d theta. Okay, so in the next substitution, we're going to write down 12 secant squared theta over the square root of, let's see, we get 12 tangent theta, that's squared, right, because u is being squared, okay, and then plus 144, which is 12 squared. Okay, we'll write that in our next step. Uh, don't forget the d theta. Okay, so this becomes 12 secant squared theta over, let's go ahead and write that as a 12 squared right there. Um, we're going to factor out that 12, uh, not completely out of the square root, but out in front. So this would become 12 squared. And inside we have tangent squared theta plus one, d theta, okay? So that becomes 12 secant squared theta over the square root of, now we use a trig identity, tangent squared theta plus 1 is secant squared. Uh, so we have 12 squared secant squared theta, d theta. And finally, that becomes 12 secant squared theta over, we square root, square root, 12 secant theta, d theta. Okay, so just a note, we've changed this u squared plus 144, we changed it all into, the, just. I'm just looking at the denominator here, um, 12 secant theta. Okay, so this right here became this right here. Okay, that's important later in this problem. Okay, so now we can reduce. The 12s, of course, go away. One of the secants goes away. So we're left with uh, the integral of secant theta d theta, okay, which becomes ln the absolute value of secant theta plus tangent theta plus c. Okay, technically speaking, that is our answer, but we're in terms of theta, and we were at one point in terms of u, but originally we were in terms of x, so we need to work our way backwards to get back in terms of x to get our answer in the correct form. 
which means I need to know what secant theta and tangent theta is. Okay, so the tangent theta one is is pretty easy. If we look at this right here, u is equal to 12 tangent theta. U is equal to 12 tangent theta. We could divide by 12 on both sides, so we get u over 12 is equal to tangent theta. Okay, that's the quick easy substitution for tangent. We'll just put it right there. Now the the secant. The reason I pointed this out earlier, I said that 12 secant theta was eventually, if you go back, was that. Okay, so since that is the case, we can say that um, square root of u squared plus 144 equals 12 secant theta. And just like over here, if we divide by the 12, we get square root of u squared plus 144 over 12 is equal to secant theta. Okay, so that will allow us to substitute back in to u. We're not at x yet, but we are at u. So this becomes ln of square root of u squared plus 144. That's over 12. I'm not going to write it yet because this one's over 12 too when we plug in for tangent. Okay, so that's also u over 12. So I'm going to write those uh, together. Same denominator, plus c. Okay, we're getting close to done. We've got it in terms of u. Now we need to get it in terms of x. Okay, so that, that substitution is pretty easy. We're just going to go back up here to the original substitution and say that everywhere we have a u, we're going to put an x plus 1. Okay, so this becomes ln of square root of x plus 1 squared plus 144 plus x plus 1 all divided by 12 plus c okay now this x squared or x plus 1 squared plus 144 you may recall that's after we completed the square so remember we substituted right here this for this so if you want you can go ahead and write it uh, in standard form doesn't really matter uh, in this case, but you can if you want to make it look more familiar from the beginning of the problem. So um, we've got ln of the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 145 plus x plus 1 all over 12 plus c. Now technically speaking, that is done. Uh, one thing that you might do um, is absorb this 12 into the C. And what I mean by that is when you have a uh, natural logarithm function or logarithm function and it's a quotient inside, you can do ln of the top minus ln of the bottom. Okay, And ln of 12 is a constant, so it can just go into this C, into this plus C. Um, it would be a different C, but in, this is a correct answer, but this is also a correct answer, which may be the one uh, that that your instructor wants. So this would be ln of the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 145 into square root plus x plus 1 minus ln of 12 plus c. And maybe we'll call it c1 since it's not the, well no it is still the same c. It'll be c1 after it gets absorbed. So we could just cross that out and put it in place you just absorb it into the C. So your final answer here is ln of the square root of x squared plus 2x plus 145 plus x plus 1 plus C. We'll call it C1 because it's not technically the same C. Uh, but if, you, if you're typing this into a, a learning management system or if you're turning it into your professor, you can just put C on that. And that's it.